This is a Biodome 1 project that we created. You see the solar panels on the bottom there? They actually power up water pumps that uh, circulate water throughout the system, which heat the unit. This is, uh, this is the new technology we're developing that you can create in your own backyard. So let's take a better look. So as you can see, uh, this is uh, a very structurally sound building that we created and it's almost in mint condition still I mean obviously it has the ability to withstand a tremendous amount of, uh, of wind uh, over a hundred mile per hour winds this thing can handle and uh, what I'm going to do right now is take some plastic which uh, you can get at any wrapping store and what it is is it's insulated and it has bubbles in it it's basically large bubble wrap you can buy this at any box store or a shipping place but we're going to use this to show you how we're going to insulate the interior for the winter and we're going to fix the door right now. So what we're growing right now is tomatoes. We're growing tomatoes that are cherry tomatoes and if you've ever tried homegrown tomatoes in the fall it's fantastic. Let's take a little pan of the entire biodome if you will. We're going to go all the way around. Now inside you can see there's insulation on the walls and what we've done is we've created this, this barrier and it holds air in essentially between the plastic on the outside and the plastic bubbles on the inside and it protects against harsh cold. Now you also know that we did a double layer up in this section that we showed you before and the top in case you were wondering is a very hard acrylic dome which was originally designed for a yurt and you can get it at yurt manufacturers y-u-r-t manufacturers they sell them uh, and they're pretty pretty expensive so what we do is we find ones that are broken like this one and uh, seal it and fix it with uh, with vinyl uh, or silicon or anything or any kind of rubber cement now we're going to fix this area right here this is an area that has a potential leak and We've got a little extra plastic sitting around, so we'll use that plastic. Okay, so we take the plastic and place it in there and simply tape it into position. And make sure you have it taped on both sides. Now in this particular instance, you want, you want to tape across the bridge and make sure you don't have any air gaps. It's extremely important that this biodome, in your biodome, is free of any air leaks. And that's the secret to how the biodome works. It gets to be 100 degrees in here during a 30 degree day, if we have a, a lot of sunlight. So, I'm going to just do that, and you can also use any kind of other insulation like this, foam on one side and sticky on the other for little cracks that might appear. But this is a doorway, so it cinches tight. And I've used hooks here. And this particular material is designed with a metallic surface, so it reflects the light and maintains insulation barriers as well. Okay, what I'm going to show you now is how to stitch this plastic up against the surface. And remember to keep the outside of the plastic, the, the solid barrier, on the inside. So what we're doing is trying to create an air gap in here. And you know, I'm doing it with planters around me. I don't really care. All I want to do really is just stuff it in there. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to just put in there. And what I'm using is a staple gun. This is a requirement. You got to get a staple gun. And it really is not a problem to staple into this wood that we constructed. And it does the trick. This project is uh basically a backyard thing. You can do it anywhere. And uh, the goal is to actually create something like this.